a lot of you are also not fulfilling your purpose because you are afraid of what other people may say or think. You may have jokingly brung up the idea to a few people who you love and trust and they may have brushed it off or they may have laughed at you and maybe told you that you couldn't do it. But let me tell you something, you better prove them wrong. You better prove them wrong because that idea did not pop up in your imagination for nothing. God gives us an imagination for a reason. It's not there just to be there. What a lot of people don't realize is that if you actually fulfill your life's purpose and use the gift that God has placed within you, you will receive so much abundance. God loves it when you fulfill that gift that he placed inside of you. I'm here to tell you that that reward will be bigger than you could even imagine. God will place things in your life that you could never even imagine receiving. <music>
God loves it when you fulfill that gift that he placed inside of you. When you fulfill that gift, you will be rewarded in the end. I'm here to tell you that that reward will be bigger than you could even imagine. God will bless you in miraculous ways. God will place things in your life that you could never even imagine receiving. There are also a lot of older people out here who is stuck in a job that they have had for many many years and they know that in their hearts there is something else that they would much rather do but they don't want to leave because they have been there for years and they also feel like they're running out of time to actually do what their heart is telling them to go do let me tell you something if god has woke you up today he has given you another chance to fulfill Feel your life's mission. Stop worrying about how long it's going to take for you to get that career that you know you really want. Stop worrying about how it'll look if you're the only old person inside of a college. Stop worrying about what other people may say. Stop worrying about what other people may think. Stop worrying about what those other employees may think if you decide to finally leave that job. You just don't know. Once you fulfill your life's mission, the reward will be even bigger on the other side. You may think that that job that you have had for years is probably the best pay that you can get. But let me tell you something. Money does not buy happiness. If you know that you are currently miserable on your job, no matter how many years you have dealt with it, that is not okay. God did not put you on this earth to be miserable on his planet, okay? So let's talk about how to find your life's purpose. If you find yourself feeling stuck, if you find yourself feeling lost, feeling miserable in the state that you currently are in, in your life, take some time and figure out your talents. Figure out your gifts. Everyone has a gift. It absolutely bothers me when people tell me that they don't have a gift. Just because you don't know what your gift is right now does not mean that you don't have one. You have multiple gifts. God has placed multiple gifts within you. Take some time to figure out what your talents and what your gifts are. Use those gifts more and more. Be consistent with it and put a price tag on it. Imagine doing something that you absolutely love. Imagine doing something that you have a passion to do and making a consistent flow of income from it. Imagine actually being happy with what you are doing and making money from it. Imagine achieving that reward that God wants you to achieve because you are fulfilling your life's purpose, because you are completing the mission that he has assigned for you. Isn't that beautiful? Doesn't that sound amazing? Something that is holding many of you back from actually achieving your life's purpose is because you think that an education is required. There are so many things out here that you can do without having an education. Let me tell you something. Do not let anyone make you feel like a failure because you did not go to school. There are people out here who did not get an education who is making 10 times more money than a person with a degree would. There are also people out here who has achieved many degrees which is such a wonderful thing, but cannot even find a job inside of their field. Do not let anyone make you feel like a failure. You find your purpose and you fulfill it. A lot of you are also not fulfilling your purpose because you are afraid of what other people may say or think. You may have jokingly brung up the idea to a few people who you love and trust and they may have brushed it off or they may have laughed at you and maybe told you that you couldn't do it. But let me tell you something, you better prove them wrong. You better prove them wrong because that idea did not pop up in your imagination for nothing. God gives us an imagination for a reason. It's not there just to be there. A lot of these inventions and a lot of things that has been created in this world is due to someone having an imagination and they actually went 
through with it. They actually fulfilled the things that they imagined. They did not brush off their imaginations. They did not just think it was just some stupid idea or some random idea that was just sitting in their head. They actually imagined it, they believed it, and they actually went after it. If you know exactly what your purpose is, but you have people in your life that's holding you back, remove them. Remove them from your life and don't you be afraid to do it because they are holding you back. They are holding you back from your reward. They are holding you back from fulfilling your mission and your life. Notice I said your. This is your life. This is your path. So why are you letting anyone else influence what you have going on? If God is calling you to do something, do it. And don't you worry about what anyone else has to say about it. Remove those negative influences from your life. Remove those negative people. And if they are people who are super duper close to you, it's okay to love them from a distance. It's okay. You do not have to act funny with them. You do not have to tell them your business. You do not have to let them know what steps you're about to take to achieve this purpose in your life. You just go after it. And if you are having a hard time blocking out these negative influences from people who, you know, you can't really cut off, pray about it. Pray and ask God to just block your ears from hearing any type of negativity and to just put you in beast mode. Nine times out of ten, those people are discouraging you because they don't have enough courage to do it. They haven't fulfilled their life's purpose. That's why they're trying to down you for trying to do yours. There are things in life that they wanted to do, but they were too afraid to do it or they were too busy listening to other people tell them that they can't do it. So they're telling you that you can't do it. Why listen? Go after whatever it is in life that you want. Figure out what exactly your talents are and what you enjoy doing and continue doing it. Figure out those things that people have constantly complimented you on because most of the time when somebody compliments you on something over and over, that is one of your gifts right there. Use that gift Go to God about it, be consistent with it, and put a price tag on it. There are also a lot of careers or a lot of things out here that people are only doing just because they see other people doing it or just because they know that it's guaranteed money. But if your soul and your heart is telling you that that's not for you, then guess what? That's not for you. And it's okay to test out different things. Like I said, if God woke you up today, he's giving you another chance. Sometimes it's things that you may have a talent in and you may think that since you have a talent in it, you should go after it and turn it into a career. Then you find out that that's just something you don't like doing. And guess what? That's completely fine. We have multiple talents. We have multiple gifts. Find another one. Go to God about it and run after it. Run after it, then put a price tag on it. Go after God's mission for you and watch how you will be rewarded in the end. And trust me, you will know that it is your purpose because it will be burning in your soul. You will be enlightened with happiness. You will feel amazing doing whatever it is you love doing. You won't feel miserable. You won't have to force yourself to do it. It will bring so much happiness and joy within your soul spirit and into your life keep god first pray often spend time alone thank you all so 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 much for watching be sure to like this video comment share this video with other people and subscribe thank you so much bye